There goes the neighborhood. Good morning, everybody. Oh my God, we have our first call already to the neighborhood. Let, let's take it right now. UN, UNC Radio, you're on the air. Please turn down your your interweb radio so we can talk. This is this is incredibly meta right now. Uh, Esther, Esther, are you there? My, my aunt is calling up and playing me feeding back on me. This is yeah, okay. Uh, Esther, you're on the air, doing whatever you're doing. This is my aunt Esther. You're coming too badly. Esther, can you maybe turn that down so we can talk? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> How's that? I come from a special family. Hi, this is my, um, I'm Dave Lefkowitz, by the way. The name of the program is Dave's Gone By. We've got so many people listening on the interwebs. we got Jonathan and Shari and Rhonda and Stephen and Bruce and Lisa and, and some folks who logged on a few minutes ago and I can't even see their names at the moment. But right now on the phone with me is my Auntie Essie. Hello, Auntie Essie. How are you? Hi, how are you? Thank God I'm good. I'm good. What's new? What? How you been? Oops, oops, I just dropped the mic. I've been fine, thank you. I'm calling to wish you a pre-birthday hello. Well, thank you, because my birthday is on Tuesday, January 23rd. I turn, do you know how old I'm going to be, uh, Esther? Yes, I do. <laughs> you, I, I'm not afraid of you, but you, you tell the people, how old is old Dave going to be? I think you're going to be 54, right? Good one. Yes, indeed. And, and currently, you're, you're how old, Anne Tester? <laughs> I'm 21. Oh, re oh, okay. Ah, so you're old <laughs> enough to do all these things you've been doing illegally for all these years. There you go. That's about it. By the way, <laughs> you're going to get those happy birthdays that you got me. Oh, okay. You'll be coming on the 23rd. Because uh, this year, instead of doing my usual thing where I would call up Esther and uh, leave happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you on her answering machine, however many times her actual age was. So, like, it would take hours to finish. Uh, this time I just copy pasted happy birthday Thank to you. you. Thank you, David. We're talking about your birthday. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Well, anyway, so, so how are you? How's Joyce? Joyce is great. Joyce is actually uh, at a meeting as we speak. So, she's not with me uh, this morning in the neighborhood, unfortunately. Although we did, and I know all you folks will be happy about this, we did pre-tape last night our Grilly Crimes and Old Times segment. So Joyce will be with us, not only in spirit, but in voice in just a little bit. So, but she's not physically in the station. I will give her your love. So, so again, how are, how's your kid? How are your grandkids? Oh, uh, Alex was sick this week. Oh. Um, her Deborah now or? is coming down with something, yeah. and Bobby wasn't feeling well. So, you know, the usual. It's, it's stuff. It's stuff. Well, how is it over? I hear New York has just been in horrible weather the last couple of days. Yeah, today it's supposed to be in the 40s. So oh, that's all right. Wish us luck, yes. Yeah. Well, I do I wish was you... in, uh, in Colorado. Well, Colorado has just come through this little mini spate of gorgeous weather. It was like 60-something degrees yesterday. It was fantastic. Now we're getting towards a cold front, and we might get snow tonight. So that's that's where we live. That's our oh, usual. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It can go 50 degrees in one or another direction within a few hours in, in Colorado. How about moving back to Manhattan? Okay, you're going to pay for it, Esther? <laughs> you're going to find me a job? Not in your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you, um, give me a memory of me since this is so Dave-centric, this episode, and since it is three days before my birthday, and since you've known me longer than almost every, <laughs> anyone else, <laughs> I mean, other than my parents, other than, you know, when I shot out of my mom's uterus, you're like the most uh, oldest, not oldest person, but the person who's known me the longest. Thank you very much. I know, I know, that's not what I meant, you know what I'm saying. So tell me a memory. <laughs> yeah, tell me something about me that I might not remember, and not something terribly embarrassing. Oh, goodness gracious. Or something very um, embarrassing. Um, you really want me to tell you? Oh, boy. Well, you know, I embarrass people all the time on this radio show, so it's only fair that I take a lump now and then myself. So what memory well, comes to mind? One thing that I can remember is when your parents were going to uh, a wedding. 
Yeah. And I had not babysat for you yet, and they were warning me. <laughs> I think you were about, I don't know if you were about three years old or I was, so. I was 27. <laughs> or, <laughs> probably, probably. And I was terrified. Yeah. And I got to the house, and I, I was so terrified that you were going to be a real whatever. A mom's all right, yeah. Anyway, it turned out you were the sweetest kindest little boy and you told me that you loved me and after that there was nothing you could do that would make me uh, you know are you sure i wasn't just you. are you sure i wasn't just trying to get into your pants at three you never know i started early you were kind of hot that, yeah. no that's true you did start early yeah, well. yeah that's <laughs> David, you're going to get me into a lot of trouble. No, I'm, I'm just, you had a nice rack back then, so... Uh, <laughs> and I was no, never... Really remember, Esther, I was never breastfed, because I was allergic to milk, and I had the cleft palate, and I couldn't latch. So any, you know, boobs were like this unknown alien thing to me. So, you know, if I was looking at yours, I might have thought, hey, I can get some of this. David! What? <laughs> <laughs> when are you coming out to visit? Because you're not going to last long. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, God willing, I'll see you in, I think it's late April. Good, I'll, I'll, I'll be gone by then. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid, where do you think you're going, yes? Has the mullah come with us? Away from, away from you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, when the hell are you coming out to Colorado? When you're available, or when Joyce is available. Oh, I'm I always available for you, Esther. Twiddling my thumbs. Oh, okay, we're twiddling something else. So, so well, let's do it. Let, well, I'll see you, God willing, in April. But maybe you got you can come out over the summer, at some point. You know. Oh, just right, think, think about it for a couple idea. of days. You know, just just get on a plane, just spend like three, four days, because four or five more days we couldn't tolerate you. But for a couple of days. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> I think I'll stay a month. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like, like the, the man who came to dinner, only it's like my aunt. My aunt That's Esther, right. by the way. <laughs> anyway, Esther uh, is with us in the neighborhood. Give my love to, oh, I want to also, if you talk to mom and dad, have them call in too. Because I was going to call them, but I forgot that I can't do an international, or not an a, um, more than a local call on this station phone. People have to call in here, which What's the matter, you can't afford it? <laughs> this this university can't afford anything. <laughs> I'll be talking about more uh, more of that later. But yeah, uh, no, your I'm lucky. Still not, your mother is still not feeling well, so I don't know if she'd really want to get on the phone. But uh, oh wow, I'll ask her. Yeah, it's been a long uh, what is it? Three weeks already. Yeah, no, last time I talked to her, which was a, I think about two weeks, she she had yeah. a bad cold. It was like oh man. Yeah, it, it's still there. It's really unbelievable. <laughs> Oh well. Oh, so when I see her in April, I will not soul kiss her. That's for sure. David. What? 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 I'm just saying. I'm saying something I would not do, because doing that Thank would be you. sick. <laughs> All right, David. Okay, Anthony Essie, give my love to Deborah and, and of course Bobby, her husband, and to Alex and Joey, and to the Peripheral family that I don't even mention. At least you got about. their names right. Well, you know, I, I'm having a uh, second cousin of mine. Uh, as the guest on today's episode of Yes, I saw Scott. Yeah, my cousin Scott Aranow, who is an off-Broadway and regional theater and, and also university and, and high school theater set designer, an opera house set designer. He's been doing it for like yeah, 20 give, years. Give him my love. Tell him thank you also for the um, photo, well, the paintings he sent me, which oh. I love. Wow, he never sent me any paintings, a son of a bitch. What are they of? Well, we, he promised me this since he was a little kid and finally sent it to me, and I really love them. Oh, uh, are, are they the nudes it, of me that I commissioned? Uh, no, we were, he, I think he was embarrassed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a brush small enough, basically. It was a, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, David, with those words and yeah. my embarrassment, I will let you go. Wait, 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 one, one more thing, Esther. I know it's three days early, but give me one chorus, please. Of happy, no. of happy birthday, come on, come on. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear David, I love you. Uh, thank you, Anthony I love you too. All right.
Don't, don't tell anybody I ever said that, but it's true. Okay. Love you. Give my love. Try to, de try to delete that part because <laughs> I really don't want a lot of people calling me up and asking me for my autograph. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, we are live, so deleting is, is rather I difficult. Know. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. try to do a little something. I'll, I'll do I love my you guys. Love you too. Okay. Thank you, okay. Auntie Essie. Bye-bye now. You're welcome. Bye-bye. My Aunt Esther calling in to the neighborhood to get us started here on this Saturday morning, January 20th, 2018. Dave Lefkowitz here doing a Dave's Gone By radio program of the face.